what I did is I went into my county building department with my very pretty simple sketches and I said, so I want to do this. What do I need to do? Will you take, will, be, will you accept these or whatnot? And they said, well, you need to give us plans that are stamped by an architect. And so I said, okay, off I go to an architect. What it kind of boiled down to was that everybody in the regular permit process, all the different people along the way, everybody kind of gets their fee for their little bit of paper. And so, okay, I want to give you your fee and I want my piece of paper, so let's just make this work. And that's kind of what it almost boiled down to. I just paid all these people along the way. Everybody got their little bit of money and I went back into the county and they said, okay, well, great, looks great. As long as it somewhat resembles the plans, we'll okay it. And that was that. And everything worked out. I did it. <laughs> I have been fortunate enough to live in this incredible space here in Vancouver, in this very, very large garden. So we had the space to build a small cop structure, so we thought, let's do it. The date there had not been a cop house built in Vancouver, so it was the first one. So we thought, this is a great opportunity to do something in the city. And at that time, not many people knew about it. Certainly building officials didn't know, so that's why we kept it under 100 square feet. Uh, so we didn't have to deal with code or permits and any of that. Yeah, I mean, people love it. People just love it. I mean, people fall in love with it. That's pretty cool. After this project, I worked with the community garden group and we put a proposal together to build a small gathering place in one of the local community gardens. The arts and culture representative with the Parks Board thought it was one of the best proposals that she'd seen. A year later, there was the opportunity to build a popcorn stand in Stanley Park. The Parks Board approached me to, to build that building, and of course I, I just I, I jumped on the opportunity. I mean, Stanley Park is the, is the premier park in North America. It's one of the most um, beautiful parks in, in the world, and thousands of visitors go to Stanley Park yearly. So it would be an amazing opportunity to showcase Cobb building. So it was very, very exciting. I think we're at a turning point in the city where the city is seriously looking at sustainability and really interested in showcasing sustainability projects. So, so it's great timing now to get involved in Cobb. Having the city get behind it and, and support it to the degree that they have legitimizes Cobb in a way that we haven't seen before at that level. As well, the, the university was very interested in doing some seismic testing and, and um, they made available their labs, the seismic shake table and everything for us at no cost. So um, Steve Lay, uh, who was my partner in the project, he, he coordinated the seismic testing so he built a scale model and we were able to, to test it. The main thing for the earthquake design, uh, we managed to conscript uh, Professor Carlos Ventura at the university who was engaged in building a rather large uh, shake table for testing uh, buildings and elements of buildings and earthquakes and prevailed upon him to test our uh, cop building. So a half-scale model was built using exactly the same techniques as would be used in the full-scale model and the building was put on the shake table and tested to destruction. And I will say it defied all expectations and survived the testing very well 
until they put on an earthquake that was about three times the maximum credible earthquake that could possibly occur in Western Canada and managed to crack the thing up. Even at that stage it didn't actually collapse, uh, but parts of the walls fell out. But uh, it would still have met the criteria of the building code that that building did not collapse and people, any occupants, could uh, evacuate the building without injury.